I challenge myself to shiny hunt every starter Pokemon in the Indigo Disc DLC in seven days. The best ways to shiny hunt Pokemon in Scarlet Violet is to do the picnic reset method, and that's exactly how I wanted to do this challenge. The picnic reset method is basically you find a mass outbreak for the Pokemon you want to hunt, you defeat 60 Pokemon in that mass outbreak to boost your shiny odds, and then you constantly go into a picnic to reset the spawns. I started off the challenge on day one by changing the dates on my switch to try to get a mass outbreak for any starter pokemon i just changed the date on my switch there's a new one there there's two new ones i'm gonna do the polar one last because i guarantee it's a starter chikorita okay this is the chikorita outbreak and what's the other one because i have 24 hours to do these outbreaks piplup oh perfect i think i want to do piplup first now i need to figure out how to make a water sandwich and a grass sandwich or i could just not do sandwiches at all yes you heard that right i didn't have any herbs of mystica to make sparkling sandwiches to boost my shiny odds but it's okay because we got shiny piplup pretty quick oh 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 shiny piplup oh let's go let's go we got the shiny piplup let's go let's go that only took me 40 minutes and i used no sandwiches i'm also trying to catch each shiny starter in a basic pokeball i'm not going for just match oh and we got a critical capture well i'm not going for a pokeball that matches the shiny but it doesn't matter because we just caught the shiny piplup Let's go. That's my first shiny starter. So we're one out of 24 on the starters now. Although I wasn't using any sandwiches, my luck was crazy throughout this video. You'll see more if you stick around to the end. And if you do stick around, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It'll really help out the channel. Right after getting shiny Piplup, I went to the new outbreak to hunt Chikorita. Uh, there's really no good spot to picnic over here. They're all spawning under objects or in tall grass where I can't see them. Then I found a shiny that's not hard to see at all. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's not a Chikorita. <laughs> I'll take it, but that's not a Chikorita. <laughs> Let's go. Just got a shiny Alolan Executor. That's my first non-shiny starter of this challenge. But hey, we're not trying to get any other shiny other than the starters. Obviously, I'll take another shiny that's not a starter. But the whole point of this is to go for those starters. And not long after, I found what I was looking for. Oh, shiny Chikorita, let's go. That was so quick. Let's go. Let's go, shiny Chikorita, let's go. We are now two shiny starter Pokemon in. On day one, my crazy good luck would take a long break from here. Froakie was the next hunt, and this was one of my longest hunts throughout this challenge. Froki, I know what shiny Froki looks like. He's like a very, very light version of Froki. Even Froki's like kind of hard to tell. I've been hunting Froki for a long time. <laughs> I'm reclining my chair and everything. Me, I'm getting comfortable. This is going to be a long, long hunt. You know, in the video so far, Froki, this Froki hunt has probably only been like 30 seconds long. But I've been hunting so far for an hour, 16 minutes of Froki. Which also, oh my god, it's shiny cottony. Oh my god. I was about to say, it doesn't seem like a long time, an hour, 16 minutes. It is a long time. I guess this cottony just made up for it. <laughs> At this point, I was getting very, very tired of hunting Froki. I guess my crazy luck with Chikorita and Piplup is coming to an end. <laughs> I'm slowly going mind numb. In some areas, the lighting would make every Froakie look shiny, so it was extremely hard to tell what was shiny. It's very easy to miss a shiny Froakie, especially when hunting during the daytime. Again, it's the lighting, man. From some angles, the sun makes a normal Froakie look shiny. But eventually, after almost Three hours of hunting Froki. Oh! I got it! Shiny Froki! Oh my god! <laughs> Two and a half hours 
of hunting for shiny Froakie and it finally happened. Oh my god, let's go. <laughs> now I have to catch it. Please tell me it doesn't have moves that hit itself. Please. You know what? It's in green health. I'm throwing a ball. I I'm, I'm not risking anything. I've hunted way too long to get this shiny Froakie. I'm not letting it go, man. Oh my god, it damaged itself. No, I have a master ball if it comes to it. Crit. I got a crit. Oh, let's go. Oh my god, I was so scared after Froki damaged himself. Oh my god. Well, that's another shiny starter with shiny Froki in two and a half hours. <laughs> oh my god, that one was genuinely tough. <laughs> After Froakie, I was feeling very fatigued, so I decided to take a break from hunting, and I decided to hunt later on during the day on my free time. And I got a shiny Chimchar. Then later, finding a shiny Rallet, ending day one with five total shiny starters. I started off day two with a Tepig mass outbreak. Tepig was a very quick shiny to get. Oh, shiny Tepig. Oh my god. Yeah, I did not notice that from a distance. Let's go. That's shiny Tepig. I That only took me 25 minutes, by the way. So far, this is my quickest hunt at 25 minutes. Oh, he takes recoil. Oh, no. Oh, I got a crit. I'm fine. <laughs> Let's go. Poplio was the next hunt, and I was very cautious while hunting Poplio. Shiny Poplio is very, very easy to miss. But that wasn't my only concern. Poplio can also go underwater, and if I get the shiny and it goes underwater, it's gone. So if I found the shiny, I had to act fast before it went underwater. Alright, so Poplio is gonna be a very, very tricky one. Shiny Poplio... The only way to tell if it's shiny or not is if you look at its ribbon. And of course, it's in the exact same spot I hunted Froki for two hours in. I really hope this is a fast hunt. One hour later. This is what a shiny hunter looks like at their lowest point. Oh my god, it's here! Oh my god, we just got the shiny! Oh my god, shiny Poplio, let's go in an hour and 20 minutes. Oh my god, I was just about to picnic reset as well. Let's go, oh my god. Critical capture, let's go. That's shiny Poplio. After Poplio, I had an online driving class for three hours. So I decided to keep shiny hunting during my class. <laughs> Kids, if you're watching this, don't do what I did. <laughs> But during my class, my luck was amazing. I got a shiny Chespin. Then my fastest hunt so far, a shiny Litten in five minutes of hunting. Then a shiny Oshawott. And last, a shiny Mudkip, which almost ran away from me. Four shinies within my three-hour driving class. The luckiest three hours of this challenge by far. Again, kids, don't play video games in any sort of class. Pay attention to your teachers. And that's all I hunted for day two. Ending off day two with 11 total shiny starters. Day three was my girlfriend's birthday, so everything I did was on my free time. I ended up getting a shiny Bulbasaur. Then later, I found a shiny Squirtle, but sadly, it fainted due to recoil damage. So I had to find a second shiny Squirtle, and then it almost happened again so sadly i wasted a master ball which means i couldn't do what i wanted to do which was to catch every single shiny starter with a basic pokeball but i really didn't want to hunt for a third shiny squirtle and we ended off day three with a total of 13 shiny starters i started off day four by changing the date on my switch to try to find a mass outbreak for a starter i didn't have yet and i ended up finding a trico mass outbreak Trico! We got a Trico outbreak. Okay, this is good. I do not have Shiny Trico yet. Oh my gosh, Shiny Trico! Let's go! No way! <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting to get that within 30 minutes. <laughs> that was actually a pretty quick hunt. Let's go! <laughs>
after Squirtle, I'm really, really scared if, if any of these shinies are going to have moves that suffer recoil damage. But I don't think Trico will. Let's go. I got the shiny Trico. The rest of day four was a very, very long day. Fennekin was the next hunt. And Fennekin was by far the longest hunt. I hunted Fennekin for a total of six hours hours fennekin took so long to the point where i ended up finding two full odd shinies before fennekin a shiny trap inch and a shiny rhyhorn and after six hours i finally got the shiny fennekin grookey was the last hunt of day four and grookey was a four hour hunt so i had a really really long day ending day four with a total of 16 shiny starters i started off day five hunting on my free time and scorbunny was the first hunt scorbunny only took me an hour as a really really fast hunt then I went for Charmander, and my luck with the Gen 1 starters was horrible. Sadly, Charmander had the same fate as Squirtle, so I had to go hunt for a second shiny Charmander. Luckily, I didn't have to use another Master Ball on this one. After Charmander, I went to go hunt Turtwig, and this was also a pretty fast shiny. At this point, there was only five starters left for me to hunt for. Cyndaquil, Totodile, Torchic, Snivy, and Sobble. It was getting harder and harder to find a mass outbreak for a pokemon i needed after going four whole months of day resets <laughs> i managed to get myself a snivy outbreak so I'll let the snivy hunt begin and let's get these last five starters <laughs> what i'm really hoping for is that the next five starters are going to be a little bit of a breeze is that oh my god already no way no way! I've been recording for four minutes! Oh my god, this is my quickest hunt! There's no way! Oh my god. Hopefully the rest of this hunt is gonna go this way. <laughs> Let's go! I got the shiny Snivy! Let's go! That was so fast! At this point, I had a little bit of a problem. The last four starters at this point is Cyndaquil, Totodile, Torchic, and Sobble. Cyndaquil, I have to do the isolation method, so it doesn't matter if I get a mass outbreak for it or not. But Totodile, Torchic, and Sobble, I still wanted to do them in mass outbreaks, especially Totodile. Because Totodile mass outbreaks are some of the rarest mass outbreaks you can possibly find. My goal for the rest of day five was to find one of the three Pokemon left as a a mass outbreak to try to do one more hunt for the day but i ended up spending a lot of time changing the dates on my switch so i ended up giving up and trying again the next day ending day five with a total of 20 starter pokemon on day six i picked up right where i left off from day five and i ended up finding a torchic outbreak all right it is day six of shiny hunting starters please excuse me if my voice sounds like it's completely gone <laughs> uh yesterday i did not do any shiny hunting because last night i went to the travis scott concert in montreal and oh my god was it amazing <laughs> And I completely lost my voice when he sang Fiend 11 times in a row, so... Uh, but we have a Torchic outbreak, which is amazing because Torchic is normally an isolation method. Oh! Oh, we got it, we got it, we got it! Let's go, Shiny Torchic! No way! I did not save before that, so hopefully it doesn't kill itself with recoil. <laughs> the amount of times that I've gotten a shiny during these hunts and it died from recoil damage. <laughs> Critical capture, let's go! We got the shiny Torchic. Now that finishes generation 3 completely. And that leaves us with our final three starter Pokemon. Cyndaquil, Totodile, and Sobble. So I was resetting for outbreaks, and I got this outbreak over here next to this pond, which I thought was Totodile, but Totodile spawns in this pond. But this is actually a Sobble. So we have a Sobble outbreak now, which this will hopefully be our next shiny. Little did I know, Sobble would be my favorite fastest hunt by far while i was eliminating 60 sobble to boost my shiny odds this happened i need to count to 60 now to get my odds boosted and then we'll let the sobble hunt begin 
Oh my god! I got a red away! I didn't even finish counting to 60. My odds are, aren't even boosted. Oh my god, shiny Sobble already. This is my quickest hunt. I've been recording for two minutes. <laughs> Yo, there's no way. And that's a shiny Sobble caught. Let's go, man. That was my quickest hunt. A two minute hunt, literally. So now we're on the final two starter Pokemon. The only two being Cyndaquil and Totodile. The two hardest starters to get shiny. Cyndaquil is the hardest because there's a very, very limited amount of Cyndaquil that spawn in the cave that spawns them. And Totodile being one of the rarest massive mass outbreaks you can possibly get. So these last two shinies could take me a long time. Day 7 was the last day to complete this challenge and I had two of the hardest shiny starters to get left. So the pressure was on. I spent the start of day 7 trying to get a Totodile mass outbreak and after two hours I finally got one. It is now day 7 and after a couple hours of resetting the dates on my switch I finally got myself a Totodile mass outbreak. So let the Totodile shiny hunt begin. I'm also re-watching my Travis Scott clips. <laughs> oh! Oh, no way! No way! Already shiny Totodile! I was singing Travis Scott, I know. <laughs> no way! There's no way we already got shiny Totodile. On the first ball? Let's go! We caught shiny Totodile on the first ball that means that now we are only missing one more shiny starter and that is shiny cyndaquil for cyndaquil i had to do the isolation method which means i had to make sandwiches yes i decided to shiny hunt all 24 starter pokemon without making a single sandwich until 23 out of 24 starters I know, not the best idea. I could have boosted my odds from the beginning. But the reason why I never made sandwiches was because I didn't have enough Herbs of Mystica to make sparkling sandwiches. Which is why before hunting Cyndaquil, I had to do a bunch of 5 and 6 star raids to try to get one spicy Herb of Mystica and one salty Herb of Mystica to make myself a fire sparkling sandwich. So I decided to only do enough raids to get me one of each herb I needed. But you might be thinking, you're only able to make one sandwich with that. You have to be really lucky to get a shiny Cyndaquil within your first fire sparkling sandwich. And that is why I hard saved the game before making my first shiny sparkling sandwich. So if I didn't get shiny Cyndaquil within the first sandwich, I could just restart my game to the point where I have my herbs back and I can make another sandwich. The reason the reason why I wanted to do this was because it would save me a ton of time. Because instead of doing more raids every time I run out of herbs, I could just restart my game and go back to how much I had previously. And finally, after five sandwiches... Oh my god! It's right there! Oh my god! That's the last shiny, yes! Shiny Cyndaquil, oh my god, I'm throwing a ball at it full HP just in case it has a move that takes recoil damage. I was literally just about to Google if it's possible to soft reset sandwiches to get shinies. Well, turns out it is, so if you're watching this video not knowing that, well, now you know. <laughs> oh my god. And we get the crit capture, yes, let's go. That's every single shiny starter Pokemon. In seven days, I got all 24 starter Pokemon shiny. And just like that, after seven days of grinding, here's shiny Bulbasaur, shiny Charmander, shiny Squirtle, shiny Chikorita, shiny Cyndaquil, shiny Totodile, shiny Trico, shiny Torchic, shiny Mudkip, shiny Turtwig, Shiny Chimchar, Shiny Piplup, Shiny Snivy, Shiny Tepig, Shiny Oshawott, Shiny Chespin, Shiny Fennekin, Shiny Froki, Shiny Rallet, Shiny Litten, Shiny Poplio, Shiny Grookey, Shiny Scorbunny, and Shiny Sobble. All 24 starter Pokemon from Generation 1 all the way to Generation 8. 